Hey, welcome back my YouTube friends. I'm Vanessa Peter with Scrapping It Up and today we are continuing our year in review interactive scrapbook pages. So yay, so welcome, welcome. All right, the first time I was doing this video, I realized I wasn't recording. So these two pieces are already cut. <laughs> so I went ahead and made sure that my, uh, yeah, that's a life of a crafter, guys. <laughs> I thought, I, yeah, anyway. Um, so this is my 12 by 12 right here. I've already cut it and made sure that it was um, a true 12 by 12. And um, the next piece was eight and a half by 11. And you're scoring on the eight and a half inch side at half an inch. Okay. So eight and a half by 11. And you're scoring at half an inch. All right. Let me find my tape. And this is set 11. We have one more to do. Now, I'm, I am going to tell you guys. I don't think you'll get these all in one binder. I mean, you probably, you might be able to. It all depends on how full you, you um, your, that you like your binders to get, okay? So, this piece is going right here. And then this piece here, 7 by 12, score on the 12-inch side at half an inch. And then, um, on the 7 inch side you're scoring half an inch we're making a pocket okay all right we're going and i think we're going to use our vellum i think we're going to use um vellum closure on this one I think, I think, okay, so this piece is going to go right here, I'm going to line it up to where I have the same amount of space from top to bottom, okay, stick her down, now this pocket is going to go right on top of this, but I am going to leave just a little bit of the black peeking out. And I know my head's going to get in the way. That one piece. Did I make sure? See, it's just a hair over 11. So I'm going to have black peeking out of all three ends. That's all right. That is a-okay. And I noticed that... I don't have. That'll be all right. I'm just going to leave a little bit of black peeking. All right. Stick her down. Well, maybe I might get it tomorrow. This is going to be a pocket. Okay. And you can purchase the tutorial too. That's inside a project folder. And it's a lot more um, organized. You can go to my playlist. I do have this inside my playlist. Okay. So you can go there and catch all the videos. Because this is a huge, huge project, guys. Okay. So there's lots of videos. So that's going to open. And then we have a pocket right here. And these are just the base pages. Once we um, start decorating, I've decorated some pages. I just want to get these base ones done. So that way I can show you how to put this all together. Okay. So now I want a pocket. And we got to be mindful of our rings. I just have a template here to show me where our rings are going to be. So I want it to be in between these rings. Oh, 
Um, looks like three and three quarters I can catch. Well, we can just go three and a half. And I'm just going to mark on my paper where that is. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this at three and a half. And then I'm going to get my scoreboard and score it at three quarters of an inch. So that would go right here. Ooh, maybe I should have had it just a little bit longer. Because this was my other piece that we had, I had done. Oh, that's, that's fine. Okay. So now, now that you have your little marks here, you're going to put it, pretend this is our, you know, here's our holes. So this is going to go in between our holes. So that way it can flip open in between our holes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Wait, no, I'm not going to add that yet. Don't add that yet. Because we're going to do a vellum window. <laughs> I forgot already. Let's go ahead and get our other piece on here. Okay, so it is uh, so I need a piece of black paper. An eight and a half by eleven, and we're gonna score on the eleven inch side at half an inch. Okay, you're scoring on the eleven and a half. Or 11 inch side at half an inch. Now I am going to round my corners on this piece. Okay. I'm going to add my tape. And burnish. I think I want it. Okay, so if this is going to go right here. And if we centered this. Yep, that works for me. That works. So then we have this. We can just attach it. Because paper can cover that up. Or we can just go underneath. Well, You just cut my hole. So then that would peek out of there like that. Yeah, I think I want that one to go just a little bit longer. Then we're going to have vellum right here. I think that would be sweet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's put this piece down. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of the black showing. And I think... Yep, I'm just going to put that one on top. So I'm going to center it from top to bottom. A little bit of the white peaking. Okay. So there's that. So let's let's do our piece of vellum here. And I'm going to use the butterfly one. So we have some of it left. All right. So 
So I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over to the back side. And let's do three quarters of an inch all the way around it. So all, all the way around it. And then go three quarters from your score line. Okay, go three quarters from your score line. I find my score line. <laughs> there it is. Is that straight? All right, so let's cut this out. I'm just going to do it this way. Obviously, I can't talk and cut at the same time. <laughs> All right. So now, our piece of vellum. We have just a half inch on each side. So three. Um, I'm going to go three by seven and one eighth. Three by seven and one eighth. Okay, so I'm going to cut my three. Let's see. I think I want to cut it from this side. Nice. Seven and one eight. Okay, now I'm wondering do I want my corners rounded? I think I do. So I'm going to round them. All right. So now, make sure my bellum is right when I go to put my score pal tape on. <laughs> so, on the right side, right side up, I'm going to put my quarter of an inch all the way around it. Right along the edge. And of course we'll put paper around around that when it comes time. I was kind of thinking that maybe doing a pocket with this. All right, so then that would be like that. Okay. So let's stick it down. Oh, don't stick yet. 
Oh my word. And I think once, let's get, let me get this back in here so I don't ruin it. All right, there's that. And that's going to go here. Oh, that's so pretty. We're going to put this here. And then we'll just have one coming out from it. But I'm really thinking we could put a little bit. Well, no, we can't. We can do a pocket, but it's got to be the same size because of our, our um, rings over here. Anyway, we can decide that when it comes decorating time on here. All right, so again, I'm going to do my reinforcements. I'm going to go ahead and get that glued. And you can use eyelets for this too as well. You don't have to um, do this. You can use eyelets. You know if you got if you got the stuff to do it with. Okay, I'm gonna put this piece on here first. Then I'll put my other piece on. All right, let's get this where it needs to be. And I'm just going to kind of center it, make sure it's straight. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and put this piece on. So now this piece here, so I'm just going to kind of turn it. I'm going to try and line it up with my ruler, and my pencil. Perfect. I'm going to put it right up against the black. I'm not going to leave no black showing. All right, there's that. So again, then it had twined. Keep it all nice and closed so we'd have a flip and we have a pocket and a flip. Whew. Of course, this is 
um this is my set that i'm using for thanksgiving and then the next one will be christmas so it may be a little bit um yeah because we all take huge amounts of um photos so the other side of this i'm not for sure we may just make oh a shallow pocket mm -mm -mm. i wasn't going to do anything for the other side but i think I think we should. Let's do it. What the heck? Now it gives you guys options. You, you can leave it plain and just scrapbook it. Okay. Um, well, let's let's do it. So I'm gonna make sure this is twelve by twelve. like i said you can set these up just about any way that you want to you just gotta watch getting your front page and your back page two heavy sets you want one page to be you know one page to be heavy and then the back side's got to be a lot you know a lighter page but i think this will look nice and i know i said we needed some lighter pages but i think i think this will be cute okay to stay with the the design of this this is three and a half so if we cut our piece at four okay so let's cut this piece at four Yeah, of course, this is going to be a shorter pocket because this is only eight and a half by 11 paper. So I'm going to score at half an inch, half an inch on each end. And then half an inch. Okay. So then I'm going to do the same thing. around this one the three quarters inch well let's get her let's get her folded first so right through the x oh i can't wait to start putting these all together can't wait this is a huge huge project and it may take you quite a while to you know get her done but it'd be so worth it. So worth it. Okay, so that's... See, our photo mat will be a lot shorter. Or, you know, our, our photo mats that we put in here. But that's all right. But this I'll need decorated with paper before we put this down. So I'm going to flip it over to the inside. And I'm going to do my three quarters inch. All the way around it just like we did in the last one from your score line from your score line okay so actually inch inch and a quarter if you want to go by your If you want to go by your edge here, which is sometimes simpler because you can't see your score line. I'm going three quarters of an inch all the way around, but I'm setting my ruler at an inch and a quarter around the edges. Oh, no, this edge has to be three quarters. Now you do the inch and a quarter. Okay. Now you're going to cut this out. We're going to do the same thing. Now we will, um, I will back this with paper because I don't want the photo mats getting, getting caught because, well, it may not. 
use that. We may not. Did you put that score pile tape all the way around and it, it's not going to get caught? Okay, let's cut this out. Yeah, and we have our big pieces of vellum for the Christmas one, too. All right. So now, I'm going to cut it at three... Three by nine and a quarter. Uh oh. I may just barely have it. I just wasn't even thinking about it. Oh, wait, no, we got it. Should have it anyway. Whew, just barely. Wow. Good thing I cut. Okay, so three. Just barely by nine and a quarter. Okay, again, my score pal tape on top. over to the back side stick her to him and this time I'm just I think I'm just gonna take off one side then I'll take off the rest make sure I get it on there right okay, now I can take off Maybe we should do a double pocket. Do a white pocket. We could do that, a double pocket. And here I am. I'm adding bulk. <laughs> okay, so you're going to need a, ah, to go 12 by 12, though. Okay, this was taken down to 10 so yeah if we've done a 12 by 12 we're still gonna but that would look nice let's see what it looks like i know we shouldn't do it let's 
so this one is three and a half. Let's go. This one was four. Let's go by. I don't think I want it to be too much more. Let's go six. Go by six. So then you're going to score half an inch on each end. Then half an inch on the six inch side. All right, my phone is ringing. All right. So now you just, well, let's get our score pal tape on first. Now my cell phone rings. I know that somebody's trying to get a hold. Probably my son. Come here and answer your phone, Mom. All right. So now burnish. And before we can put this on... Um, we do have to get our paper down. So this one would be here. Then this one would be right here. Now give us, let's see what it looks like when we got them both sitting beside each other. I think that's nice. Again, pretty heavy. I don't know. I kind of like it. Just almost just like that. Hmm. Well, it depends on what kind of paper we use underneath, too. This is the fall one. more can't remember if we used this somewhere else we use that red I don't know how well that would go with the butterflies so it might be a little loud no, I don't like that either. oh there is a green I do know we have used that one Ooh, that's pretty. 
maybe it's because it's got too much white sticking out on this end maybe that's what's i'm gonna cut this um right now it's sitting at five and a half i'm gonna trim her down hope we go four and three quarters maybe that's what's getting me so if we go four and three quarters Okay, I'm going to cut it down to five. Let's go ahead and cut this down to 11 and 3 quarters. By 11 and 3 quarters. You're just cutting a quarter of an inch off of each end. Then that would go like that. Then this would go here. There's a little bit of the paper peeking out, I think. But do we want to go against the edge? And we'd have this here. And we can put the strips there. That works. I like it. Then we can put a little piece of just plain, plain paper here or nothing. All right. So I think that'll work. Let's see what it looks like without it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe leave a little bit of the white. Because we got white over here. Because see, then you have a pocket here. And a pocket here. And then with our orange strip. That we cut off. Can go right here at the bottom. And I like that. Where's our other orange strip? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. But yeah, I would, um, I'm not going to let any of that paper peek through. There, if we cover up the white, I think that looks nice. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and get this down. Alright, so now we can put this down. And like I said, I'm not going to leave. I don't want any of the white peeking through. So I'm, I'm going to just flip this around. So I'm going to center it from top to bottom. None of, 
I don't want any of that paper peeking through. Okay. Okay, and then this one, I don't even have it adhered, I may just glue it, I don't want any of the white peeking through, I'm just going to glue it. So then um, I want to use these strips, I think, right there. All right, so I'll just use my pencil, find my pencil. I got you. One of these is thicker than the other one. So I'm going to use one that's a little bit thicker. So right there. Oh, it's not the same. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. That's all right. Didn't even notice that. That's all right. There's that one. So now, over here on this one, I think I'm just maybe we'll see i was gonna do two strips but well I was going to try and get it. I've done two strips here. Yeah, I don't know about that. Or maybe just do one. Let's just do one. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm put it right down the middle. There. So 
Now, make sure you mark these. Set 11. And the next set is going to be our Christmas set. Fabulous! Yeah, I got a little carried away again. So we'll have a pocket here and a pocket here. And then this flips. <coughs> Excuse me, man, my cold. I've been doing pretty good. A pocket. This one's got lots of pockets. Maybe we should have had this one for Christmas. Yeah, maybe this one should have been our Christmas one. <laughs> All right. Well, I think thanks for hanging out with me. I hope um, you, you will give this a try. Um, it's a fabulous way to, you know, have lots of photos, and it's all in a ring binder, and yeah, all right, so thanks for hanging out, and as always, keep scrapping, bye-bye.